and the young man became so hungry that even the pods he was feeding the pigs looked good to him. But nobody gave him anything. And when he finally came to his senses, he said to himself, at home, even the hired servants had enough food to spare. Yet here I am, dying of hunger. I will go home to my father and say, Father, I have sinned both against heaven and you. I am no longer worthy to be called a son. Please take me as your hired servant. Please. Hey, you okay? I know it's a bit late saying that you're already wet, but I think I got an extra umbrella in the trunk if you need it. Nah, I'm good. Thanks, though. I see we're headed to the northeast side of town. That's where the rich folk live. Okay, girl. Let me borrow $20. I apologize. I didn't mean to overstep. No, you're fine. I just have a lot on my mind. That's all. Well... From the looks of this weather, we're gonna be here a minute. You wanna talk about it? No, I don't know you. Please, let's cut the chit chat and just drive. Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry, that was rude. I apologize. It's just that this year the freaking bottom fell out. Life was great, no worries, no issues, and bam. Just like that, one single moment, one bad decision, all gone. We all make mistakes. Sadly, it's a part of life. Yeah, but how do you throw away your career and get caught up with a church boy, of all people? Uh, well, they are human too. At least I think. Maybe. But foolish Abby... I expect it more. But you know what? That's lame. Considering I met him in a club taking more shots than a firing squad. It's your boy DJ Iceberg on the ones and twos. Y'all looking real suspect up in here right now. It's the 4th of July, the bar's wide open. We about to turn all the way up. Let's go. Snapchat, Snapchat, why you ask me? 
back to me and she rap Oh yeah, winding, riding me like you like me Good evening. My name's JR. Thank you for coming to my establishment. Can I offer you ladies a drink with my compliments? Yeah, for sure. Bartender. Yes, ma'am. Get these ladies a drink on the house. Coming right up. You guys enjoy, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Yo, man, this man, he man. <laughs> Y'all boys ready, bro. <laughs> Yeah, it is, man. What you got, man? Huh? What you got? What I got? Huh? Let's see. Oh! Hey! Man, this guy. Man, I hear, man. I took all my money, man. Man, let's get him in, man. Let's get him in, man. Girl, you tripping. Your husband probably up in here. Need to loosen up a little bit. Nah, I'm good, Dana. One more year and I'm gonna get that promotion. I can't get caught up in no mess. Yeah, I guess you're right. Well, as for me, I'm gonna hit this dance floor and I'm gonna cut up. All right, don't cut up too much. You know I am. What's up, bro? Same thing? <laughs> oh, you already know. And uh, whatever that fine lady over there is drinking. Okay, I got you. Coming right up. Compliments of the gentleman at the end of the bar. Hmm. Absolute cranberry. No, Ciroc and cranberry. Nice try, though. <laughs> Wait, what? What do you mean? There's no way you didn't see him pouring out the bottle. Okay. You got me. You got me. But look, you can't hit a brother for trying, though, can you? So what's your name? Abigail, but you can call me Abby. Abigail. Okay. Well, Abby, my name is Jacob, but you know, everybody calls me Israel. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Church joke. My father's a preacher, so. I get it, I guess. So, would you like to dance, Miss Abigail? Nah, I'm good. I'm just here for the music and a drink or two. Okay, okay. Well, you mind if I join you? It's a free world. Okay. Uh, another round for us both, please. Yeah, coming right up, boy. All right, my friend, you've had enough. I'm closing out your tab, and I'm calling you and your new friend here a taxi. Man, what is a taxi? We got a new thing. It's called ride share. Look, right here. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. I don't think so-called preacher boy here can do any more harm. Okay. So you know I'm definitely not sharing a ride with you, right? I appreciate it, but I will get my own ride. Why not? Look, I got you. Look, I got you. I mean, I actually have a car, but I'm a responsible drunk. <laughs> no, but seriously though, like, money isn't an issue. Oh, I know, Mr. Flash my money so everybody can see. You're on a dope boy, are you? Uh, no ma'am. I mean, my pops is the one who's got it. He's more than a preacher. He's like a rich preacher. Oh, so you're a church boy and a spoiled brat. 
I'm still not riding with you. So it's like that. How about this? How about you share your number? I guess. You be careful out there, beautiful. Why did I give this dude my real number? I mean, don't get me wrong, it started off okay. But, well... I'm listening. <laughs> In my hand, boy, I'm looking like a stunner. Stop, hold up. Death in my lap, my grave. Duck up, not worry about that. My father showed up and put me on track. For God, I run. Let me tell you about that, huh? How he changed my life, made it all all right. Now I smile on Instagram. Had to be done twice, but he kept me alive with an open hand. Now I feel like a hundred grand. Let me tell you about the man that died on Calvary and pulled me out that pig pen. Pig pen, that's where my sin is. I love the whole. Myself, that's where I'm living. I need forgiveness. Father, give me the business. There's so much pain in my life. I can't remove it. Hey, Jacob. So, what's it gonna be today? $10 or $20 scratch offs? Uh, let's do both today. A hundred dollars worth of both. Alright. Anything else for you? We'll do a pack of wood to Black and Miles, too. I got singles. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Okay. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. Anything else? That's it. That's it. Okay. It's gonna be... 20535 <laughs> Thank you. And I'll What's good, bro? Oh, man, everything is good, man. We still good for tonight, right? Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, remember, 50 large or better, <laughs> all right? Yeah, yeah, I got it. I got it, bro. All right, cool, cool. All right, amigo. Talk to you later. Adios. All right, peace. So, of course, I didn't text him back that day. I'm not one to seem desperate, but based on a later conversation we had, he had a lot going on that night anyway. Seven thousand. 
like it's me and you, Papa. Slowing down, huh? You know what, Papa? You been raising my blind all night. What you got over there? Like to me, I got two cards. He's a funny guy. But you know what? I want to see him. Let me ask you something. How much you got behind you? About 20,000. Well, we going all in, Papa. Well, I guess we're going all in then. Check. All right. Looks like I got a whole boat, my man. <laughs> yes, sir. Come to Papa, mommy. <laughs> yeah. You know what? It's only one problem with that. What's that? I got a boat too, but. Mine floats. You know, when I first saw you play, I said to myself, that boy got talent. He can make me a lot of money. So what do I do? Like any good businesswoman, I offer you an opportunity to get out of the streets and make some real cash. The both of us. And you know what? You made me a very happy lady until now. Ever since you brought that boy up in here, thinking he easy bank, he has been cleaning our asses out. For show money, I think is how you phrased it. Well, that for show money just walked out the damn door. Look, my apologies, mama. Look, he just got lucky, that's all. I'm gonna get you your money back, I promise. May I take your menus? Uh, yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. For three days? <laughs> like, I was beginning to worry that you did give me the wrong number. But, we're here now. That's all that matters. So, Sorag and Cranberry? Nope, not tonight. And yes, we are here. So, tell me a little bit more about yourself, Mr. Jacob. You want to know my government? Wait, you, 
You aren't the feds, are you? Yes, definitely. Call me Abigail the Investigator. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, but I think your full name is a great place to start when getting to know someone. Well, I guess you're right. I don't know, though. You might actually work for the man. <laughs> no, you're right. My last name's Jackson. Jacob Jackson. For sure. King. Abigail King. But as you know, I prefer to be called Abby. <laughs> But whatever you prefer, your highness. <laughs> no, seriously though, I like Abigail. It's a beautiful name. So don't hold it against me though, if it slips out. Not at all. I'm sorry, um, give me one moment. Hello? Haha, uh -huh. yo, yo, what's up, homie? Hey, what's, what's, what's up, bro? I hope it's important, I'm, I'm kind of in the middle of something. Nothing, man. I'll make this quick, man. Hey, man. I hope you're still on fire, man. I got some big timers about to roll in tonight. I just wanted to see if you want in. What? Look, I'm in. All right? Count me in. All right. Say less. I'll save you a seat then. But, hey, make it quick now. We don't have all night to be waiting on you, all right? Hey, say no more. All right, Papa. See you then. All right. All right, cool. That seemed like an important call. If you have to go, I would no, totally no, no, understand. No, 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 no. <laughs> what? Well, yeah, but, I mean, we just got our food. I didn't want to rush off. That's fine, Mr. Jackson. Go handle your business. Really? Wait, wait. This isn't one of those reverse psychology moments where you just seize the opportunity to get this over with, is it? No, I promise. Go handle your business. Just as long as you're paying for all this food because the sister's hungry and I'm not going anywhere until all this is up in my belly. So you're hungry? Like a nine-month pregnant chick. <laughs> okay. Of course, I got you, Abigail. I just hope that when I text you tomorrow, it doesn't take three days for you to respond this time. We'll see. <laughs> I can dig it. What the? Sorry about that. Looks like we just hit five o'clock traffic. Great. Hope you were not in a rush. At least it's not raining anymore. No, I just hate traffic jams. Don't we all? Well, I guess it works out in my favor. What do you mean? For a second, I thought I might not get to hear all of your story. Well, I wasn't even sure you were still listening. Absolutely. You definitely have my attention, if you don't mind the finish. Why not? Anything to pass the time. Now, you were saying that y'all finally had a dinner date, but he abruptly left? Oh, yeah. He left money to pay the bill, kissed me, and was off to do what he did best. Gambling. <laughs> what about you, Papa? You like that as well, huh? You like that? <laughs>
going on there, fellas. Guess we're going all in then. Looks like you need to catch a lightning in a bottle, Mooley. <laughs> I'm good, Luigi. That river's coming. Yeah, it's coming. A river of tears. You know, like you said, too easy. Tell your boy Mario over there. That's one, two, three, four, sevens. No, in case he can't count. Put it down. We good. Se fortunado, ragazzino. Yeah, whatever. Hey, you know what? Give JR my apologies, okay? Man, my part about that, Miko. The times are crazy. Hey, 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 man. Miss me with all that, man, all right? You hit me up when y'all can handle losing money. All right? This is what I don't understand. How did this damn dude just walk out of here with all that money? My business model? It's simple. My clients get easy wins, and I get easy money. You know them crazy ass Italians ain't walking away from losing 100K, right? Yeah, but Boy, I... shut the hell up. Get me my money before they do, period. And make sure that it's nowhere around here. You understand? See.
For work today. Now, either hell has frozen over or someone has got a man. Mm -mm. No, ma'am, neither. I don't think. But I did go on half of a date last night. Half of a date? What does that even mean? Dang, you nosy. Well, you brought it up, so I'm waiting. Waiting for what? Come on, Abby. Don't do me like that. I'm your best friend. Okay, close the door. It's not that serious, Dana. I met a guy last week when we went to the club and you left me to go dancing. He approached me at the bar, we had a few drinks, called it a night, and after a week of texting, we decided to go on a date last night. He got a phone call before we could eat and had to go. Hence, half the date. Wait, that's not half a date, that's a meet and greet. Now how in the world were you late for work for that? Girl, I had to eat, I was hungry. But he at least paid for your food. Child, please, you know me. <laughs> Heck yeah, he paid for the dinner and left the tip. Okay, now I see why you said half a date. But I'm confused though. About what? What happened to the whole good girl kick and not dating before you make executive? Number one, we definitely ain't do nothing nasty, nor do I plan on it. But this guy is interesting to me, just a little bit. Wow. So the stuck up nobody talked to me. No, you can't you can't get my number. Abigail, what we call her Abby. King is finally a human. I like it. Let's not get too far ahead. He's still on thin ice, and whatever this may be might not make it past lunchtime. Huh? I'm meeting him for lunch, and if it goes sideways, it's a done deal. Wait. So you go from not dating anyone for two years to two dates in the past two days? You do know we were supposed to go to lunch together today, right? Technically, one and a half dates, if you count today. And no, I totally forgot. Um, can we do a rain check? Yeah, that's fine. You enjoy yourself. I want to hear about it later, though. <laughs> mm, okay, I'll think about it. Hey, um, what's the best I'm sorry flowers for somebody you just met? Oh, Boy, no. what's wrong with you? Huh? What was that for? What you got to apologize for already? You said you just met the girl, and you already got a makeup? Oh, okay, okay. I'm sorry. I cut out on our first date, but I'm making up for it today. All right, I'm gonna let that pass. But the next time I see you, it needs to be for her birthday or Valentine's Day. Yes, ma'am. Well, at least you got manners. I like that. I see you got that cross around your neck. Are you a Christian? Um, yes, ma'am. My father's a preacher, actually. Boy, that don't make you no Christian. Have you accepted Jesus as your savior? Yes, ma'am. A couple years ago. Well, that's good, because we all need him. Especially in this day and age. Yes, ma'am. Well, let's figure out what kind of flower to get for your young lady. Mm -hmm. Well, you said you just met her, so you don't need a bouquet or anything over the top. I'm thinking a single rose or a tulip. But not red, because you want to save that for something intimate. 
Uh, so I'm thinking either pink or yellow. Um, well, I like the yellow roses. <laughs> Boy, I'm just playing. Why you gotta be such a punk? <laughs> Give me one second. Uh... Oh, I'm about to be late. Um... Boy, you on strike two already? Lord, help us. Come on, get out of here. This is for you. Uh, keep the change, okay? Th thank you. Thank you. That boy might just be all right. some nerve. First you leave dinner early, now you're late for lunch. We should just stop before we even get started. I know, but look, I'm only late because I went to get you this. I got it for having to leave dinner early, but I guess I got to get one for today now. I love roses, especially yellow. How'd you know? I didn't. I didn't. I just got it as an I'm sorry gift. But believe me, it didn't come by easy. I got smacked upside the head by the floors a few times. What? That's a long story. <laughs> okay, whatever you say. Well, what happened to your face? Did the floors do that also? Um, no, no, um, uh, that's another long story. I don't know, Mr. Jackson. It seems like you got a lot going on and doing the absolute most. I'm starting to really wonder about you. Look, I get it, okay? But look, we're already here. How about we just step inside and let's just have a nice lunch? That way, we could pick up where we left off last night and continue to get to know each other. I guess so. But you're already on strike too, mister. Look, believe me. <laughs> I already know. I do. So, uh, what time is your break over? It's almost one o'clock. It's okay, I can be a little late unless you have somewhere else to be. <laughs> no. No, I don't. Look, I'm not trying to get strike three in two days. Or ever, for that matter. Well, our conversation got cut short. And besides me knowing that you're a spoiled preacher kid, I don't know much else. Talk to me. I need to know who you really are because usually I'm very reserved and I can't get caught up in any stupidity. And I'm so serious. Well, mm, outside of me coming up in a pretty well-off family, I mean, there really isn't much to me. I left home not too long ago. You know, just, just trying to find my own way. And although I grew up in the church and I do believe in Christ, I just always felt out of place. I just felt like the church lifestyle just wasn't for me. I mean, hey, I, I love to play cards. Well, poker mainly. I smoke, drink a little bit. My dad in this church did not approve, of course. Mm. I just got tired of feeling judged and being condemned about something that I naturally like to do. So, I went to my dad, I told him how I felt, asked for enough money to be able to move to the city. My dad definitely didn't agree at all, but you know, me and my dad have always been close. So reluctantly, he agreed. I think my big brother hates me for that now, though, but, you know, here I am. And your mother? Um, she died uh, not too long ago from the coronavirus. COVID came through here messing everything up. It's not a day that goes by that I don't think about it, though. I'm sorry. No. It's okay. It's okay. So, that mark on your face. I'm sure it wasn't there when you left last night. Um... No. No, it, it wasn't. You are looking at the latest victim of a game called Texas Hold'em. 
Let's just say I won a lot of money last night and it didn't go over too well with some crazy Italians. So you left me early so that you could go play a card game and you got beat up? Boy, bye, I gotta get to wait, work. Wait, wait, look, 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 please don't look. Don't be upset. Look, yes, it was foolish, but I did win. And I did not get beat up. I can't tell. Well, well yeah, you're right. But I can promise you, I will never, ever leave you like that again. Look, Abby, you might think I'm spoiled or irresponsible, but the truth is, the truth is, I like you. I like you a lot. And this is just all so new for me, you know? But I promise you this, I can and I will do better. I gotta go. Thanks for lunch. Text me later, Wait. okay? Wow, late for work twice in one day. Now for you, that's a record. It's cool, Dana. Only one day. <laughs> okay, I am mad at you. Just remember you said that you want to make executive? Yeah, thanks for the reminder. Mm -hmm. I got work to do. And shut the door, please. Hey, uh, you think you're going to be on for tonight? You know, my Italians are looking to do another round. I don't know, man. I'm pretty good at the moment. Oh, come on, bro. You know you're on fire right now. You're like the Michael Jordan of this thing, man. You need to get the money while it's hot, you know? Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you, Migo. But not tonight. Nor tomorrow night. Maybe some time next week, all right? Yeah, but... Well? Look, man, he just hung up. He said he's not gonna be able to make it tonight. He said he got other plans. It don't work that way. I want my money. As do I. And we all will get our money. Pontus is personally going to make sure of it. See, Mama, I got you. I know. If you don't, I will. Tired. How was your weekend? It was good, Dana. How was yours? So long. I sent you an email Friday. Just get back with me when you can, okay? Okay. That night, I became a different me. 
I lost myself in his arms on the dance floor. Hey, I see y'all looking good tonight. <laughs> Get y'all something to drink? Yeah, a uh, shot of vodka for me and the lady. I got you, boss. Wow. You look gorgeous. Thanks. You're not half bad yourself. Yeah, man. I'm making it very clear right now. We know where he lives, and if you can't get him back to the table with our money in hand, we'll just have to go and pay him a very unwelcome visit. Comprende? day? Yeah, man. I got you, man. That night, we had a ball, and we kind of just took off from there. I started to open up, and suddenly I forgot who I was and all I wanted to accomplish, and it became all about Jacob. Sometimes it happens that way. You meet someone, and whether you realize it in the moment or not, you'll never be the same person again. Yeah. Well, at least we're moving again. I almost gave in that night, but somehow through the alcohol and my emotional lapse, I was able to pull it together and not fall into a lustful, cliche nightcap. And you know what? I think he respected me all the more for it. <laughs> Stop. 
Stop. What? This. I can't do this. What? What did I do this time? Nothing. Nothing at all. It's just too soon. We're drunk. It's not how I want to kick things off. <sighs> okay. I understand. All right. I, I'm not happy about it. But I respect your wishes. Thanks. I got work in the morning and it's late, so I'm gonna go. Text me this morning saying you had women problems and you were gonna be late coming in. Oh wow, thanks girl. I don't know what I would do without you. Uh, yes, I'm thinking the exact same thing. I know you're not late because of Mr. I gotta leave early. None your business, Dana. It is my business when my best friend is becoming a completely new person and quick at that. You don't even know this guy yet. Don't hate, Dana. You're just mad because you're sad and alone. Wait, Dana, I didn't mean that. Dana. Man, what the? Oh, what are you doing here? You scared the hell out of me, man. What you doing here? I was just checking on you, amigo. They're trying to see what's really good. Seem like you've been ghost all of a sudden. Everything been all right? Yeah, I'm good. Ain't like that, amigo. Trying to get my grown man on. Handling business. Comprende? Oh yeah, I understand. But you know who don't understand? Those crazy at times you had beat out of a hundred grand the other night. You know they think it's real disrespectful that you won't come back to the table and play them again. Look, I'm not stressing these fools, man. I'm not. Alright? Check this out, Papa. Not only does it make you look bad, but it make me look bad as well. You see, my boss didn't want you at the table in the first place, but I got you, huh? At least you could do is come back to the table and play these fools again. Give them a chance to win their money back to take the heat off me, don't you think? Wow. <laughs> you know what, man? I knew somehow this was all about you. <laughs> you know what else, man? You're starting to make me a little nervous with all this calling me all the time. And you pop up on me like this? 
What's really good, man? What was really good? Is that him ties is loco, like I said. And JR, she's standing behind him. And I suggest you do what you claim you do best and meet us back at this poker table. If not, this here is gonna go beyond me. Caprende. So what, you threatening me now? It's not a threat. This here's a warning. Hello, beautiful. Okay, Mr. Jackson, in here I thought I was a tad bit overdressed. Oh, no, 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 you, you are perfect. We're just getting started. It's for you. Thanks. Set and free. I would never lie to you, so don't you ever lie to me. Honestly, I am consciously right where I got to be. Constantly show veracity, cause you a masterpiece. I fulfill your fantasy. You just need to fantasize. Help you manifest your desires right in front of your eyes. This is not a magic trick. We just making love on two thousand dollar mattresses. Shout it, she my queen, she my empress, your majesty. All right, Miss King, we're here. You ready for some uppity food? I mean, I know I owe you, so. Well, I don't know what uppity food is, but yes, I definitely could eat. Okay. Here you go. Your server will be here in a few moments. Please enjoy your dinner. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, I know I keep saying this, but you really went all out tonight. I'm impressed. Well, that was my goal. Look, I know I started off suspect, which is why I wanted to show you how I really feel about you. I mean, true enough, this is a special occasion and not a every weekend or day, but... I would love to continue to court you in this manner. Court me? <laughs> I must admit, I've been thinking about you a lot lately also. And I don't usually rush into things, but this is a great restart. Well, thank you, Abigail. And that's why I don't expect you to do this every weekend. I like extravagance, but I love low key. Okay, Abigail. Sounds like we own to something, huh? We'll see. Good evening. I must say, you guys look great. <laughs> I just want to inform you of our special tonight, which is our filet mignon, served with roasted potatoes and our steamed asparagus, paired with a red wine demi glace. Wow, sounds fancy. It's pretty good. It's one of our most popular dishes, aside from our 32 ounce sirloin entree. Okay, thanks. Well, just give us a moment to look over the menu and we can go from there. Absolutely. Anything I can get you wonderful couple to drink while you decide? Yeah, I'll take a glass of Chardonnay. Same for me. Thanks. Awesome. All right, I'll be right back with your drinks. Thank you. Did she just refer to us as a couple? I believe so. Hmm. I'm going to leave that alone for the moment. Hmm. Just a moment. I'll take it. <laughs> Have you decided or will you be needing more time? Wow. You are fast, my friend. <laughs> um, yeah, just give us another moment, please. No problem. Thank you. Okay, look, we better hurry and decide because uh, she'll probably be back in the next two seconds, so. <laughs> yeah, you're right. 
Whoa, 125 for a steak? Yeah. Why do you think I say we're not doing this all the time? Yeah, I see. Okay. I'm gonna try the special she suggested, even though I don't exactly know what it is. Me neither, but I'm gonna get it too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, we'll actually take the filet mignon entree that you mentioned. Okay. All right. I'll take your menus and I'll be back soon. Thank you. Thank you. So, we hitting the club or we calling it a night? No, I got something else in mind. Oh, man. Sorry, I didn't want to wake you. Got some work to do, but had a great time last night. We'll call you later, preacher's boy. Abby. Remember, one, two, three, four. Looks like I'm holding all the cards now. No need to talk anyway. We found what we came for. It's my money. That's my money. I want it first. <coughs> You're lucky we're leaving you with your life. Ooh. Hey, look at this. Consider it a blessing. <laughs> Amen. Grazie. I'm gonna have some friends pick up his car and take it over to Judas's chop shop. Meet me with the money in a couple days at the warehouse, okay? Okay, como comandi, Don Christian. Okay. Jacob Jackson, 
I'm sorry I'm not by my phone right now, but if you leave a brief message in your phone number, I'll get right back with you. Have a blessed day. I haven't heard from you. I'm worried. Call me back. Hey, Abby, are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. You were right and I was wrong. Go ahead and gloat. Huh? Jacob, you told me to be careful and I didn't listen. Abby, come on now, you're my best friend. I would never intentionally try to hurt your feelings, even though you did hurt mine. I know. Dana, I'm sorry. You're like a sister to me and I love you. I messed up a million times over. Please forgive me. It's okay, sis. I love you too, but don't let this bring you down. I'm here if you need me. Thanks. That's messed up what the Italians did to my boy Jacob. How could you let him do something like that? I told you I was gonna get you your money back. Let me call you right back. Number one, you better watch your tone with me, S.A. And number two, I told you to handle it or they would. You better be glad they didn't kill him. Now, Get out of my establishment before you reap the same percussions. Okay. All right. Hey, I need you to handle some business for me. Pronto. My guys, he dropped the ball, and I need you to get my money back from these Italians. Yes, ma'am.
I'm sorry, Abby. We're gonna have to let you go. Up until three months ago, you were one of my best employees. But since you've been habitually late and calling out, I was willing to work through all of that. But you lost one of our biggest clients. My hands are tied. I'm sorry, Abby. And I really wish you the best of luck moving forward. Looks if you've seen a ghost. I think I did. five stars. Hey, you mind if I sit there? It's a free world. Thank you. <sighs> hey, uh, I hope I'm not overstepping. But I got an extra biscuit that I'm not gonna eat and a bottle of water. You're welcome to them. But you one of those freaky killer Jason type of guys? Looking to sell my organs or something? That's definitely a first. <laughs> I've been called a lot of things, but never kill a freaky Jason. <laughs> that is hilarious. No, sir. Just someone passing by and saw a guy that 
Looks like he might be going through a transition phase. Might need a little bite to eat. Transition phase. It's a nice way to put it. Yes. Yes what? Yes, I'll take that sandwich and that water. I'm starving, man. You know, I'm a driver, and I get to talk to a lot of people. Well, today I had a really interesting rider who was telling me about some things she was going through and how it affected her life. Sad love story, basically. Some guy she fell head over heels with, and then one day, she never heard from him again. Stopped texting and answering her calls. She felt used and abused. And it wasn't easy for her to just move on. But you know something? She has a place to go. Home. I know because I took her there. And though it'll probably take some time for her to heal, she does have a place of comfort where she can rebuild her self-esteem and confidence. Maybe she'll get back out there in the world and try again. Sad story, man. What that got to do with me? Because even though I don't know you, something's tugging at my heart that makes me believe that you have something or someone in your life that can help you start over. Maybe you're embarrassed or scared or whatever. But for whatever reason, I feel led to encourage you to get up and move forward. Please forgive me if I'm overstepping. I'm nothing more than a man who believes in Jesus Christ and takes people to their destination for a living. You may or may not be a believer, but I'm willing to take what God has blessed me with and take you anywhere you want to go. No questions, no charge. Can you take me to my father? Can you take me home? Yes. I don't mind taking you home. Come on. Come on, son. It's gonna be all right. Lord, I don't know where I went wrong, but I know that you're the only one that can help me. I feel lost, I feel depressed, and I just don't know what to do. And I know it might be my fault, or it might be. Anyway, please, Lord, guide me, protect me, and give me the strength to carry on, because I swear I feel like just giving up. Please, Lord, I come to you humble, and I ask for mercy. Mercy, Lord. Thank you, brother. God bless, man.
Good evening, ma'am. I have a certified letter here for a Miss Abigail King. That's me. All right, great. Here you are. Could you sign here? Dear Abigail, it's me, Jacob, the preacher's boy. I know it's been over four months since that very special night we spent together. Truth is, I've held on to that night since, but my foolish and prideful ways would not allow me to open up to you and tell you what happened. Look, in a single moment, I lost everything. My money, my home, my car, you. But the worst, I lost myself. I turned my back on God and decided to do things my way. It didn't work out, and even worse, man, I hurt you in the miss. I guess I did get that third strike, huh? Look, I'm not writing you for pity. I only want to apologize and also let you know that I never meant to hurt you, ever. I pray you're well, Jacob. P.S. That was me you saw. Just dirty and lost. And I want you to know that my father has forgiven me, Abigail. My father has given me a second chance. A second chance at life. And one day, I hope and pray, you might do the same. Love. Those who have revolted against God, who are criminal, are placed in this material world. Sometimes, criminals say that they don't care for the government, but nonetheless, they are arrested and are punished. Additionally, living entities who declare their defiance of God are placed in the material world. Originally, the living entities are all part and parcel of God and are related to Him just as sons are related to their father. Christians also consider God the Supreme Father. Christians go to church and pray, Our Father, who art thou in heaven. The conception of God as Father is also the main entity, as the only, one and only. S-O-A-P, son of a preacher man. I had to clean myself off with my weakest hand. They told me I had to play that cards I was dealt with. I turned around and took the cards from someone else's hand. I pray to God I ain't got my life in the devil's hand. S-O-A-P, son of a preacher man. S-O-A-P, son of a preacher man. S-O-A-P, son of a preacher man. Oh, Lord, oh, Lord. They me trying to take my soul. Can never let it go. It ain't mine that I own. I'm the vine that she stoned. Everything gets she stoned. Everything gets she stoned. I ain't never been a clone. Everything I got, I got it on my own. Cause I was cursed with a blessing. The Antichrist is gonna need some better weapons. I slipped and fell and I landed on a question. Is God real? Or are you church people guessing? Since I'm not buried at the moment, keep a smile on my face so I can cherish every moment. You look scary at the moment, but I'm cool right now. I'm Ben and Jerry at the moment. Life is crazy. I'ma drive around in a nice Mercedes. S-O-A-P, son of a preacher man. I had to clean myself off with my weakest hand. They told me I had to play the cards I was dealt with. I turned around and took the cards from someone else's hand. I pray to God I ain't got my life in the devil's hand. S-O-A-P, son of a preacher man. S-O-A-P, son of a preacher man. S-O-A-P, son of a preacher man. Man!